Hello and good morning, Shafter High School, and welcome back to HQTV. This is Take 3. Uh, my I'm name Shafter is Jensen Boyd. <laughs> my name is Jensen Boyd. And I'm Alexis Pickering. And today is Monday, April 1st, and here's what's going on in our general community. Uh, this week we are focusing on the R in pride. The main focus this week is showing respect by being kind to one another. Sometimes it may be hard to be nice to one another, especially when you're me and when you're having a bad day. But being nice to one another is proven to make you a better person and even in, be in a better mood. Remember, generals, being kind to one another builds character and will improve, will make people be more genuine towards you. And also, generals, April 1st is now a national holiday, so you don't have to go to school anymore. That's an April Fool's prank. And now here's Mrs. Weichel and Miss Macias to talk to you about respect. Good morning. Being a general means working hard, but it also means being nice to one another. Hello. Everybody can appreciate acts of kindness, but when it comes to explaining why we do them, people often take one of two extreme positions. Some think kindness is something completely selfless that we do out of love and care, while others go on the complete opposite side and believe it is just a tool that we cunningly use to become more popular and reap the benefits from. But research shows that being kind to others can actually make us genuinely happy in a number of different ways. So we know that deciding to be generous or cooperating with others activates an area of the brain called, wait science teachers, striatum. striatum. Interestingly, this area responds to things we find rewarding, such as like having good food. The feel-good emotion from helping has been termed that warm glow. It kind of like runs over you, that warm glow. And the activity we see in this striatum is the likely biological basis of that feeling. Sometimes it may be hard to be nice, especially when you're having a bad day and nothing seems to be going right. But being nice to one another is proven to make you a better person and even be in a better mood. Here are five reasons why being nice can make you feel good according to science. Having a contagious smile. Being kind is likely to make someone smile. And if you see that smile for yourself, it might be catchy. A key theory about how we understand other people in neuroscience suggests that seeing someone else shows an emotion automatically activate, activates the same areas of the brain as if we experienced that emotion for ourselves. Have you ever found yourself asking the questions, wait, why are we laughing again? You may have been in that situation where you find yourself laughing just because someone else is. Why not set off that chain of good feelings with a nice surprise for someone? I do this all the time. I'll smile at somebody and then they smile at me and they're like, what, are we, what are we <laughs> smiling about? <laughs> Writing a wrong. The same mechanism also makes us empathize with others when they are feeling negative, which could make us feel down. This is particularly true for close friends and family as our representations of them in the brain physically overlap with our representations of ourselves. Have you ever heard that say, like, misery loves company? Yes. And it really, like, you get down when other people are down? Absolutely. Same thing when you're filling up, people fill up. Doing kind acts to make someone who is sad feel better can also make us feel good, partly because we feel the same relief they do and partly because we are putting something right. Although this effect is especially powerful for people we are close to, it can even apply to humanitarian problems, such as poverty or climate change. So getting engaged with charities that tackle these issues provide a way to have a positive impact, which in turn improves our mood. Making connections. Being kind opens up many different possibilities to start or develop a social connection with someone. Kind acts such as buying someone a thoughtful present or even just coffee strengths friendships. I love coffee. Me too. I need <laughs> and more. that in itself, it's linked to improved mood. Similarly, charities offer the opportunity to connect with someone on the other side of the world through donating to improve their life. Volunteering also opens up new circles of people to connect with, both other volunteers and those you are helping. I can't tell you how many times when I've volunteered, I, I feel like, and nobody knows how, how it makes you feel, but like doing something nice for somebody just, just without expecting anything is just amazing. I like, it makes you feel so good. It really does. Mm -hmm. Have a kind identity. This is, this is major. Most people who like to think of themselves as a kind person, so, or they like to think of themselves as a kind person. So acts of kindness helps us to demonstrate that positive identity and makes us feel proud of ourselves. In one recent study, even children in their freshman year, listen freshmen, recognize how being kind can make you feel more complete. 
This effect is more powerful when the, ki the kind act links with other aspects of our personality, perhaps creating a more purposeful meaning or feeling, excuse me. For example, an animal lover could rescue a bird or a retired teacher could volunteer at an after school group. Research suggests that more, the more someone identifies with the organization they volunteer for, the more satisfied they'll be. Kindness come back around. Work on the psychology of kindness shows that one out of several possible motivations is the returning of a favor. This can happen directly or indirectly. Someone might remember that you have helped them out last time and be more likely to help you in the future. It could also be that one person being kind makes others in the group more kind, which lifts everyone's spirits. Imagine that you bake cakes for your class and it catches on. So someone each month does that. That's a lot more days that you're getting cakes than providing them. I want cake. I want cake too. That sounds so good. <laughs> so <laughs> The story doesn't end there. Being kind may boost your mood, but research has also shown that being in a good mood can make you more kind. This makes it a wonderful two-way relationship which just keeps giving. Of course, you don't have to scan brains to see that kindness has this kind of benefit. Research in psychology shows a link between kindness and well-being throughout life, starting at a very young age. In fact, even just reflecting on having been kind in the past may be enough to improve teenagers' mood. Research has also shown that spending extra money on other people may be more powerful in increasing happiness than spending it on yourself. I love buying other people I gifts. I do too. It makes so, me... It's so cool. I know. Each week, we focus on the letter of pride and reward those showing this focus. This week, we will be looking for generals who are showing respect by being nice to one another. Simple enough. Students who are being nice to one another may be caught and can earn a general dollar. Now here is the encouraging video from YouTube channel Soul Pancake. While you're watching, ask yourself, have I gone out of my way to be nice to someone today? And if so, how? If I have it, what can I do to show people kindness starting today? Always show respect, generals, to yourself and to others. One of the things we should say more often. Number 20, thank you. And not just on Thanksgiving, every day. Number 19, excuse me. Number 18, here's a surprise corn dog that I bought you because you're my friend. There'll be more corn dogs, more happy people. This is a good idea. Corn dog for you, corn dog for you, corn dog for you. Number 17, I'm sorry. Number 16, I forgive you. Number 15, you can do it. But don't say it if it's something they can't do. Number 14, another thing that we should say more often, I have barbecue sauce in my shirt too. Before you say something about the barbecue sauce on somebody else's shirt, take a look at the barbecue sauce on your own shirt. Number 13, please. Number 12, everything is going to be okay. Number 11, oh you got me a corn dog too? You shouldn't have buddy. Number 10, I don't know. I know a lot of people who need to say that. My sister! <laughs> Number nine. You're so awesome, I named my dog after you. Wait, wait, wait. That could hurt someone's feelings. I mean, boat. I named my boat after you. Wait, you even have a boat. You're so awesome, I legally changed my name to yours. Wait, that's super creepy. It, it, just tell people they're awesome and mean it. Number eight. Hello, a person that I never met before. Here's a high five. <laughs> Number seven. My sports team is not always the best sports team. It takes a big man to say that. Number six. Nothing. Sometimes that's the best thing you can say. Number five. <laughs> that doesn't mean anything, but it's just really funny. <laughs> Number four. I disagree with you, but I still like you as a person who is a human being and I'll treat you like that because if I didn't, it would make everything bad and that's what lots of people do in this lane. Whew, I need a water break, y'all. <laughs> it's okay to disagree, but it's not okay to be mean. Number three, sometimes you just gotta scream. <laughs> Number two, life is tough, but so are you. Sometimes we all need to be reminded to keep going. Number one, something nice, anything. If you can't think of anything nice to say, you're not thinking hard enough. So what about you? What do you think people should say more often? Leave a comment below and let's hear it. Oh, and I got a bonus one for you. 
Something that we should say more often? Let's dance! So like, subscribe! Okay, and general shout out. Anyone can write one, they can be for any positive reason. Shout out slips can be found by the pride boxes in the cafeteria, ASB office, front desk, dean's office, and the library. Show people you care about them by giving them a shout out. Juniors and seniors, the prom is on April 27th, so in 26 more days, and this year's theme is Masquerade. Masquerade. He's saying that. Tickets go on sale on Monday or today in the finance office for $65. It is April at the. Because that's canceled. Dollars. <laughs> Oh, I thought you were talking about promos. I was like, what? No, okay. you're canceled. It is in the fourth theater, and you get dinner, dessert, professional photos, and photo booth photos. Underclassmen may attend as a guest of an upperclassman. Off-campus guests must be approved through the dean's office like every other dance. And if you have any following questions, once again, stop by Mrs. Davis's room, room 705, exclamation mark. You sound like the end of the commercials when they talk really fast because they're oh, telling you all the side effects. Anyways. Students, the current high school district food services is presenting their share table. This is a place for students to place unopened food and drink that they choose that they chose not to eat or drink. This is written really weird. I'm very sorry. Um, giving other students opportunity to take additional helpings. Students must drop off unwanted food and drink on the sharing table immediately after leaving the serving line. And their motto is waste, hunger, not food. Clubs, ASB and class officers, and newly elected <laughs> and officers. newly elected officers. So all you newbies, come to the KCSL Kern County Student Leaders meeting at lunch uh, for lunch in the ASB room on Wednesday. And SCT prep class will continue on Tuesdays in the library. Class starts uh, class. Class starts Start. after school and is available until 7 p.m. So come for as long as you can to help improve your SAT score. See Mr. Reby in room 503 or 506 if you have any following questions. Link for applications are due Friday, April 5th. That's this Friday. You can take it to the ASB office once you're finished with that. And Mecha, all senior Mecha members, please stop by room 410 to pick up your scholarship applications. And seniors, be sure to check out the scholarships that are available and see Ms. Martinez in the Career Center for more information. Attention senior Key Club members, if you have signed up to attend the Kiwanis Lunch on Wednesday, your permission slips need to be turned in to Mrs. Mrs. Smith's room in room 502 today in order to attend. If you have any questions, please see Mrs. Smith in room 502 at your earliest convenience. And now we're going to send it over to Nevea for sports and upcoming events. JV baseball and softball won against Cesar Chavez. Congratulations to our color guard who placed second in their pack competition. Now for upcoming events. The sec first, second, and fourth is freshman registration. The third is a late start. The third is also the KCSL meeting. And the 8th through the 12th is spring week. Thursday, April 11th, during sixth period, we are having a special game in the main gym with Vicky Show and her adaptive PE students and our varsity basketball players, all on the same court playing together. The kids will wear school jerseys. There will be an announcer national anthem. It will be just like a normal high school basketball game. We want this to be a great experience for all kids involved. That being said, please everyone come out to the gym during sixth period, if it's okay with their teachers, and show them your support. Now back to Jensen and Alexis for the end of the show. And on that note, generals, uh, have a great day and tune in tomorrow for another exquisite episode of HQTV. Shout out to your high school's news source.